to see how to calculate and export NDVI from Landsat 8 in Google Earth Engine. First is we are defining a point of interest with the coordinates. For example, you can see here I have defined the variable where. So in this case, I am referring a point e geometry dot point represents point features. So inside that I am giving the lat and long values. You can also give the lat long values. You can simply use the inspector tool and uh, for example if you are interested if you click on any of this region you can see at the top in the points you'll be getting the latitude and longitude you can copy the latitude and longitude and paste it over here first let me paste the longitude value and after that you can copy the latitude value and paste it here now this is for an example let me revert it so like this you can select your region of interest so let me revert it now okay now after doing that the next step is to load the least cloudy uh, landsat 8 imagery for that we are defining the variable so image is equal to we are defining the image collection landsat 8 toa image so you can directly search here for the Landsat 8 imagery Landsat 8 so I'm going to use this you can click here and you can see the characteristics of this image it is the highly uh, highest quality of data available so you can copy it and you can just replace it like this you can replace it after that we are filtering by the boundaries for example this point is nothing but this lat long value so we are filtering by the location and after that we are filtering by the date for example so I am looking for the year 2024 to up to 2025 So now I have uh, chosen the date from where to when to where 2024 to 2025 filter I use this function filter date and after that I have used this function dot sort to sort the cloud cover based on the cloud cover it will be sort sorting the images Landsat 8 images this cloud cover information this is meta you can find it in the Landsat 8 image itself so when you are going to the image in the image properties you can find the cloud cover here you can do what here you can find what is this cloud cover based on this I am filtering this imagery so you can see dot first I have used uh, the least cloudy image will be coming up first once I have done it you can see the next option we are going to print the image info so I'm just using the function print and I'm giving Landsat 8 imagery so if you can see this func func function print Landsat 8 image so this is nothing but it sends the image details to the console in Google Earth Engine so that we can view when the image was taken how cloudy it is what band it is has and more information about the image and after that we can see here we are going to calculate the NDVA as you can see the formula NAR minus red divided by NAR plus red that is that is what we have applied over here so we have defined a variable and we are given it a name NDVA and from the image so you can see here dot normalized difference there is a default formula in Google Earth Engine for this normalized difference so in that we are selecting band 5 and band 4 because band 5 is NIR and band 4 is red keep that in mind please now after that we are uh, selecting one more function in it we are just renaming the output file as NDVI so for uh, renaming it we are using this function dot rename uh, in the bracket we are giving the name NDVI next is we are coming to this display option 
so the map will be displayed over here in the Google Earth engine visualization section or in the map display so using this map dot center object we are centering the we are centering the output image the image will be coming out in the center and followed by that you can see here this is nothing but the zoom level I am uh, defaultly giving 8 you can uh, increase it or decrease it so this function map.addLayer helps to add something like an image or a layer to the map view so this is the map view so we are adding this ndvi image you can see here we, which we have already set ndvi is equal to image collection so we are used this normalized difference formula for that and after that you can find the minimum minus one and maximum one and uh, we are given some color scheme to the out outcoming image and you can see we are also set the name that is ndvi the outcome layer name will be ndvi so why i have set the minimum and maximum to minus one to one because the ndvi value always will range between this minus one to plus one so please keep to keep that in mind and using this function we are giving the color scheme you can add some more colors to it i'm just giving it as an example blue color white color and green color and after that you can see here the next step is we are getting the full scene bo bounds so we are getting the full scene of the image we are not uh, going to take a part and all we are going to get the entire scene ndvi scene of the given location this lat long which scene will be covering will be coming up fully so you can see here variable boundary is equal to image dot geometry so what we are defining is that get the shape of the landsat image and save it in a variable name as bounds you can give any name boundary anything so in order to get the entire scene i am using this function so i am defining this uh, bounds is equal to image dot geometry so it will be taking the entire scene of the landsat 8 image and followed by that is we are going to export the full ndvi image to the google drive so I'm using this function export dot image dot to Google Drive and you can see the image so so you can see here I'm using image so I'm specifying the image NDVI image as you can see here this is the NDVI image which we have generated earlier so we are going to set tell that this is the ndvi image that is going to be exported so in the description you can just see i have given ndvi full scene this is nothing but just a name for the tasks that will show up in the task tab in google earth engine so i think these are not needed we can remove this so i'm going to remove this function and you can see after that i have uh, used this region so the region for which the image will be exported is the boundary which you can see where bounds is equal to image geometry the full scene of the image will be exported so this defines it and after that you can see the scale so Landsat 8 is 30 meters resolution so this is the default scale and you can input the coordinate system and finally let me remove this function also now let us run the script so you can see the outcome of this uh, NDV analysis we have generated the NDV image so if you just zoom in to the location you can find the 
and if we have results you can use this uh, inspector tool to inspect the values of this NDVA. So if I click on this dark patches of green color, you can see uh, the NDVA value of 0 0.79 which is showing a healthy vegetation and you can see here the water bodies. So this is having a value of minus 0 0.5. This in negative values representing water body, snow, cloud and if you just go to this area so let me reduce the transparency for it opacity so let me reduce it apply import and let me change it to the satellite imagery and you can see here these are the settlement settlement ready area so if I click here, you can see some difference in this NDVA value, it is coming around 0 0.06. So likewise, you can perform this NDVA analysis. If you want to export it, go to the taskbar section. Here you can see NDVA full scene, the description. In the description, we have given the name, so that, it, that will be reflected here. If you click on run, the image will be exported. So you can save it to the drive. For example, if you know the uh, folder name, you can put the folder name here. Otherwise, you can go to this uh, Google Drive and create a folder and copy that name and you can just carry it over here. You can assign the file name over here. I am selecting GOT for the file format. Let us click run to export the image and inside the tasks you can find it is showing us the estimated time less than a minute. So let us wait for it. So you can see here the expose, uh, export has been successfully completed. Let us view it in the driver. Click on open drive, open and drive. And you can see it has been exported successfully. Let us download it. So you can see here for exporting the full scene it uh, takes somewhere around 176 MB. So let me download it. So let us keep that in mind. Uh, next time we can clip it for our study area itself. You can check the progress of the top. So the download has been completed. Let us view it in folder. So this is the downloaded image. Let us have a look at it in ArcGIS. Let me add the file. So it is in download for me. So I'm going to add it. You can see. If you want, you can change the color scheme for this by choosing properties. In symbology, we can assign the color accordingly. So I'm going to use this one. Let us invert the color. So it is not uh, looking good. And let me just normalize it. And if I click apply and click OK, you can see the difference if you want you can also change the color schemes for it so i hope that uh, this video might be helpful for you and uh, please do provide your valuable comments about this uh, videos thanks for watching if you have any other doubts please do ask in the comment section goodbye